Hey everybody, I wanted to do a simple, slower Facebook stories post. So first off, welcome back to Nerd Cheek. I'm glad you guys are here. It's good to have you back with me. I've done one other Facebook stories tutorial, but this one I'm going to do is going to be a little slower because folks have said, Dustin, you're very good at it, but you move through it too fast. Can you slow down a little bit? So I'm slowing down for you. So here's the thing. When you're doing Facebook stories, the, the easiest way to add something to your story is to simply um, share something from your timeline. Let, let me even rewind. I'm going to rewind a little bit. First off, some of you may not know what Facebook stories are. So if you're in your home area and you see these things right here, these things with little circles in them, those are Facebook stories. So if you see someone doing this, see all these neat little posts that cycle through and then whatever, and then you can go to the next person, they've got stuff, and then they've got this, you're noticing all this. These are Facebook stories. And so, you know, they're really cool. If you want to add stuff to your stories too and take part in this, the best way to do it is go to your timeline. And the first thing I do to add to my story is I go down here <clears throat> and I utilize the posts I already have. So if you want to post something on your story, like for here, you just press share and look, share to your story. Then you can take it and resize it, use two fingers and whatever. You can add stickers to it and whatever. You can change the background. So let me show you the next thing. So I just shared to my story from a post. Now I'm going to put a new background on it. And I click the little button with the magic wand there. I can scroll over. I can choose lightning bolts. I can choose flags, put hearts in there, all of this kind of stuff, right? I can change the color to that. That looks nice. That's kind of nice too. I can change these watercolors. Ooh, that looks really cool. Or this or this. You see, there's a lot of options that you can do for this stuff. So you can just get in here and play with it. That's the first one. That's the little magic wand over here on the side. The next thing you can do is you can tag somebody in it. So if I want to tag one of my friends in it, it says, allow people you've tagged to add this photo to their story where it'll be visible for an additional 24 hours. You can do that. That only I would only do that if it relates to them. Another one you can do is you can draw on it. So you can draw on the story. It's gonna go behind it. You can change the brush. You can change the style of it. Look at that, chalk-like or whatever. It's an eraser, whatever. You can change the color by getting over here. Change the color to green, whatever. You can do all of these things, right? So that's nice. That's the brush effect. I'm gonna say I'm done with that. I can also, you could also undo. I didn't need to. The next thing you can do is you can add text. Here's text. So you just type in here. And this kind of text has a headline around, I mean, it has a color around it. You can invert it, like clicking that. Look, it's just plain text on the plain background. So if you want to put that there, you can do it that way. Or you can click this button right here, and it can have a background behind. It's easier to read. So I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to change the color. So if I change color with one with the background, it does that. It puts the background color like that. If I change the color on that, it changes the actual color text of the text. Get that? Isn't that cool? So that's that's how text works. I'm going to leave that there. Then you can go in here to that top button right there. That has a little smiley post-it note flipped up kind of thing. You've got all these things you can add. These are stickers. So you can add the day, Thursday sticker. That's fun. Here's a sticker too. You can put a fire bolt on here. Look, you can do that and that's previewing what it does. When somebody clicks it, it goes boom, it shoots fire all over the page. They also have like the heart. If you have that on here and people click it, it does hearts all over the page and then it shows that it reacted. You get to see the engagement, how they reacted to it. Take some of this stuff off. If you wanna remove something, you pull it down and put it in the trash there, just like that, just easy. Now I'm gonna go in here and Let's say I want to put the location of where I'm at. Oh, I don't have location services set on. I could put the location in if I had it turned on. Um, I want to put the time in here. I can put the time, timestamp. If I want to put a tag, I want to tag somebody or something, I can tag them in it like that, right? If I want to, you can do donation buttons. I don't really use those much. Down here, some fun stuff that you guys may want, the poll button ask a question so you can type a question in here and then you can put yes or no right you can add a poll polls are fun people love interacting with them I'm gonna pull some of this stuff off of here so keep going see what else we can add so there's polls there's 
um, questions. So you can do some quick questions. What's the highlight of your day? What are you watching? What's your favorite food? These are all right here. You can just click one of these buttons. What's your destination? You put that on here and people can answer it. And when they answer it, it goes straight to um, Messenger, which is nice. Or you can write your own. You don't have to do theirs. You can go back and you can just do your own. So type what you want. How are you? Type whatever you want. And it gives you interaction in here. And then when somebody answers, it goes to your Messenger. And that's nice to have a little conversation with them. It builds engagement and relationship on Facebook. That's a question. And then there's music. You can add music from here, which is fun. So I don't even know what that is, but here it is. It says you can add the lyrics. Look, the lyrics are on there. That's fun. You can do that and remove it. And then you can do feelings. You can put happy or whatever. I feel happy. It looks like that. That's what those are. So you can do all those different things on here. Now, here's some other stuff you can do. There's GIFs. So you can text um, share. Like I want to tell folks to share this. And then I'll click it in here. Look, there's all kinds of GIFs. Just health. Right? <clears throat> put that in here. And the GIF is in here. Isn't that fun? Let's see. What else? Emojis. There's tons of emojis. So you can add an emoji to it. Whatever. Okay, you guys get it. You can resize those emojis. You can do whatever you want. And that's really Facebook Stories. When you're done, you click Save, and it saves it to your camera roll right there. See? It's going to save it to my camera roll. And then you can also click Share to Story, and it goes to my story. I'm not going to do that now, but when you do, it goes to your story. And really, guys, that's pretty much all this is. That's all you got to do. It's so easy. So I want to tell you, get out there, start sharing stuff, your stories, and have fun. Here's my story right now. Got some of this going on. Isn't that fun? Look at all the love it's getting. People have reacted. Isn't that good? So people can see these things. But get out there, get on the stories, have fun with it. People are really engaging them right now. And be encouragement. All right, hopefully that helps. Now, thank you for tuning into Nerd Chic. And I want to say this, if I can do anything else for you guys, you let me know. If you want more tutorials, put it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Blessings, you guys.